This video is brought to you by Cabana Magazine. Cabana Magazine is a 4-in-1 photography magazine that myself and my partner produced under our gallery Find Art Photography Gallery. This magazine have four genres of photography in here. Um, there is conceptual, fashion, um, street photography and documentary. This is a magazine that we wanted to produce to give other photographers and ourselves um, a platform to showcase our work. And also, I'm a huge advocate for printing your work. To grab your copy, I'm going to leave all the links in the description below. Thank you for supporting, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Everything in the reading of Pop Vogue with the reading of Drop Toads when the reading of Jeffrey Dahmer, eat your heart, get back, eat your raw, Andy Warhol, eat your art, seek the salt, y'all better feed the raw, white boys win the fucking car heart, but you can't defense the motherfucking iceberg with a couple of bars, couple of dots, put them in the back of the pot, double jump, quarter, double get the water, bottom with a little bit of water, get the daddy, you think it's a pretty, you think you get better, the pit, the you think it's a pretty, the I'm sorry for rapping better than the people in the industry. Now you got the horn blow. Where them people going to Chicago? They be dancing with Beyonce. I got somebody that plays like Andre. Off the crowd of like Dr. Dre. But the chocolate cake with the veneers. Fuck paint. I'm about to do it again with a Britney Spears. White people mad because I got bars. I need to be in the episode of Cheers. I got some weird ideas in my wheelchair. Give me a hand clap. Nah, nah, where the fuck is Shans at? He coming back with the night spear. I come back with the night spears. Now I even come back with the night spears. Dog like Wesley, I'm a snipe here. Fight the fears with ideas after I'm done with the eye like Fetty Wap. Rapping better than Tupac, I'm using my common sense. It ain't confidence, it's a low and common donator. This the flow that I take the soul out of the Terminator. And Frank with the German. And frankly, if I had a notebook, it's like I left germ on paper. Out of space with dog face. On this trip, I brought with me my Mamiya C330 and my Fujifilm ST5. Um, I brought the ST5 for videos. I wasn't planning on shooting any photos with that. I'm currently working on my book and I know I've talked about it a few times, but I have Rodney Smith's um, A Leap of Faith book on my desk that I'm taking inspiration from. from. And most of the photos in there are square format. So I took some inspiration, kind of inspired me to shoot some black and white and I brought with me um, Fuji Acros uh, 100 and Ilford HP5 which I should have waited before I loaded the film but I loaded it thinking in case I see any portraits that I want to take um, on this trip I wasn't planning on doing street photography or any urban scenes specifically wanted to do just portraits um so it was very sunny a little bit windy in chicago the first thing we did when we got to chicago was to first find a parking that we can trust we went and grabbed something to eat and one of my buddies lawrence j was having a show and that specific day having an artist talk and i didn't want to miss that seriously though if you are in chicago and you have not seen this exhibition by lawrence j you really are going to miss out i'll uh, encourage you go and take a look at it um, for yourself um, this was a project he did on this uh, chicago south side drill um, team um, the exhibition is, is really amazing he ended up making a book out of the project and then also uh, finished the project with this exhibition that I was very 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 happy to be able to go and see in person
every single time we are in any city one thing that we try to look for is galleries museums see what exhibitions is going on but whenever we are in chicago one of my favorite places to go to look at you know exhibitions or photography is the museum of contemporary photography um it's 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 just a, a place that um i really really admire and love um the few times that i've went every single show that they've had there has just been so inspiring the exhibition on this day was about um native americans and every single photo on the wall was just so amazing as soon as we got to chicago i reached out to my friend sabrina and she invited us over for dinner and then also um i told her i wanted to do some portraits um and sabrina was down to do some shoot nothing planned just you know hanging out and taking some photos just having fun um and then fortunately um three other friends of hers was coming over so it was just a fun time um had some really amazing um dinner and then also some really good time if you remember say, when i said i shouldn't have loaded the film and waited well this time the light was like going down really quick and then also shooting a 100 speed film indoor wasn't a really good choice but i had already loaded the film and and didn't like have any other option but to shoot it luckily i had not taken any photo on it so i ended up pushing the film two stops so instead of 100 i shot it at 400 um which i'm glad i did because i really really like across um pushed um i've never done it before but this time it actually kind of worked out one thing that i also well, i'll say a little mistake that i did was not having an actual light meter with me i did have the um kex light meter but that is not really great for shooting like portrait and stuff i think when you have that um light meter with you if you're photographing like scenes or landscape urban scape um anything wider um it, it's it, that is gonna help but in this situation if you're shooting portrait i would not advise you use that and i wish i really brought my um other light meter that i can read the light from specific like places that i want to so a few of my photos came out under exposed um i was shooting at like 15 30 uh 30 60 of a second and a few of the photos were kind of a little blurry um not as sharp as i wanted it to but it's okay like i said um just having fun nothing really serious here in uh sabrina's apartment there is two big windows and so because the film that i was shooting was slow and also we didn't have any um lights or flash or anything i wanted to get as close to the window as possible to use that light that is coming through and for the most part it worked out um but it kind of limited us as to composition and uh, you know spots that we could have you know photographed um but sabrina also had this corner in her apartment that she's put up this white sheet um, as a backdrop and so uh even though i knew the lighting on that side wasn't that great um i still wanted to shoot against it just do something um over there um, because it was set up really nice and you know i could use that opportunity to create some portrait as well So like I mentioned earlier, this is Sabrina's friend, Michaela, and I wanted to shoot her against the backdrop and not shoot it from the same um, direction that I was shooting with Sabrina.
right after this photo um any photo that i took after this shot did not turn out it did not take at all i don't know what happened i was able to hit the shutter and and able to advance the film but the lens wasn't opening and so none of the photos that i thought i was taking was being recorded um, on the film and that was it for my trip in chicago that is it for the video thank you guys so much for watching please like subscribe if you haven't already follow me on my instagram admin kbwaten i'll see you guys in the next one but until then bye bye